I work, um, I'm a nurse anesthetist, and my two daughters are also nurses, and my husband's a nurse anesthetist, so I come from like a nursing family, so this whole public speaking thing, and um, actually sports are kind of new to me since my 40s. Um, I joined SEAL Team, and they got me inspired to get dirty and always be outside, and I got into mountain biking through them, and that's kind of how this whole thing began. Uh, me and some friends of mine were members of Luna Chicks, which was here several years ago. It was an all-girl team, and we were only allowed to have 10 members, and we had all these rules and things that just made the team, we thought, not what it could be, so us three girls, me and this girl, Francine Rapp, and um, Courtney Cotton got together and decided, well, we're going to make our own team, so uh, we were just, didn't really think we could do it, but then Mark Junkerman of uh, Run, Ride, Race was our first sponsor, and we got a bunch more sponsors, and we made up our kits, um, which used to be white, but not as flattering. <laughs> um, and so it just at the first three years we, we mostly were mountain bikers and we did our weekly rides and it, it was kind of funny because my daughter and I would be the only ones just sitting there in my driveway waiting for people to show up for the rides and sometimes no one would show up and sometimes a few people would show up and but we just kept at it and um, after about three years, we kind of just gained some momentum, and now on our team we have triathletes, we have iron men, um, we have some road riders, we do almost every sport. We even done tower races before, which you know you can race up to the top of the can top tower. Um, we've done things like that, um, paddling, we have paddling events now. We have dog walking, walking events, camping, camping. <laughs> and then sometimes we just go out to dinner. So I, I think what is special about our team is not, I mean, I don't even know if we should call ourselves a team. We're more of a, a group of women. Yeah. Like minded people. Right. right. It, it, there's not many rules. We don't require people to do races or. It's just what you can do, what, how you want to participate. Um, we do have a $20 membership fee for a year that just pays for events that we like to do. Sometimes we'll do yoga events and we'll have food and we use space for those kind of things. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I like about it. It's just kind of evolves as what people need at the time. And we try to support the local businesses in Richmond. Um, we partner with a lot of different businesses. Like uh, we have a sponsor that's a, a hair salon. We have a, a muscle mechanics as our massage person. Um, and we think our other sponsors are Lucky Foot uh, takes care of our shoes. And then after you know, after about three or four years, we became a 501c3 nonprofit. So any money you pay to us or donations is uh, tax deductible. So that's another special thing. Um, so yeah, and we have over the years supported local charities. At first we supported uh, a charity called the Virginia Cancer, a cancer Patient Fund, and then it was um, Safe Harbor Shelter, but then now we've decided we're gonna move, the, maybe just branch out and try to spread ourselves around to different organizations. And so Sarah, our new president was just elected this year, Sarah Ford. I was going to talk to you about kind of what's up for the new years coming up. And And I just kind of wanted a way to just do something active and plug in the community 
I was actually trying to quit smoking. So I was trying to like, you know, I was a runner, like I kind of like smoke cigarettes, I'm like that's not working. So I found out, you know, really quickly as a cyclist, like you can't bike and smoke, you just not. You will die quickly. So I was able to kick the habit, but like the best thing was um, meeting one more team. There's a Tuesday night ride every Tuesday at like six, um, it's like 5.45, 5.30, 5.45. And everybody was just so friendly and just easy to meet. We, the first ride I went on, we met at Stone Brewing. We usually meet at a brewery. And we rode Billy's Creek. And I sucked. Um, I had a really heavy bike. <laughs> I remember it was being a really hard ride and walking over everything. You know, I just kind of kept at it. And it just it sparked something in me that I didn't know I had. And over time, I evolved to start mountain bike racing, and then now I'm road racing, and now I love cross and cross racing. So it just changed my life, you know. It's, and I know that women's bike sports encompasses more than just cycling, and that's just kind of where I'm at. But it's just, it's just totally changed my life for the better. I'm, you know, more focused at work. I'm way more physically fit. It changed my body. Like my sex life has improved. So <laughs> everything, everything. The only thing is, I'm like broker than usual because like bikes are cheap. <laughs> thing, you know, like everything's expensive. But so now, um, yeah, I was just like honored, really, really honored to be elected president a couple months ago, and I hope that I can serve the team well. We we do a fundraiser every year called Crank Rising, and it's to uh, to support the Safe Harbor Shelter. And we didn't do it this year. Um, instead, this fall we're hoping to do another fundraiser to support RBA Bike Club and. Specifically, the Missing Link Trail, which is going to be a paved trail to hopefully get some foot traffic on Buttermilk, and it's going to be easier for us outsiders to meet. And it'll be like the Cat Trail, so it'll be awesome. And we're going to do an event this fall. We're still brainstorming, but um, Maureen has a beautiful property by the train tracks in the river, and we're going to do this giant haunted maze. And I know that sounds so obscure, but it's it's going to be really cool because the woman that designed it is an artist and it has all these cool creatures and she updates them every year, so it's huge. So we're going to kind of plan bike rides around that and charge a small fee, hopefully have a keg, maybe some vans. And we're just trying to kind of like open our minds and open up, you know, what, um, how can we serve the community? Like what can we do to kind of have an impact and be useful? So we thought that would be a good thing to do. And hopefully it will be a success. We love planning. I love the women on the team, and you know we have relationships. Like I don't see them all the time, but it's like there's a familiarity, like family. You know, like I don't feel uncomfortable when I see them. I'm like a really. It, it was this was a huge step for me because I'm very socially awkward and shy, and just to have the courage to go on these rides and make new friends, and it was it was really mm -hmm. courageous. Yeah, so I met my boyfriend, his wife, you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's just a sex life. Like, like, I know, I was thinking that too. <laughs> but it's cool, there's always like new people coming aboard and they're interested, and we just hope to make it a, a non intimidating platform. Just come, chill, ride. If you suck, that's cool. If you want to get better, we can help with that. If you want to continue to suck, that's cool. You know, we just do a lot of fun things. We hang together. We we have these fun online forums, and it's just like it's just it's, I love it. Like I really love being a part of something great. It's more fun for me than just kind of like cycling alone, hanging and racing alone. I have this like bike family. Thank you for having us. Yeah. It's um, your weekly rides. Are they uh, mountain bike focused, or are they all kinds? Of they are mountain bikes. Yeah, so they're Tuesday nights. And it's called a beginner ride. We have all skill levels. Okay. So if there's people that are more advanced, they kind of break up to a fast group. And then we have like a slower group. And we all band together at the end. Okay. Like, we all meet at a brewery and just like hang out and chill. Yeah. And even if, even when people show up and they're not on mountain bikes, they're on a, and even when I first came out, I was on a mom bike with a kickstand. Say, you know, <laughs> but somebody was still waiting for me. It wasn't always full of coaching, yeah. but somebody was going to wait for me. I was not going to be lost in the woods all by myself. And we do have some. And there are opportunities for full up. Some people will open up coaching-ish rides, yeah, monthly or quarterly or something. Where you know, once you become familiar with the people and the crowd, oh, that's a ride where they're going to help you 
learn to conquer something rather than just, well, I can't do it, but I'm going to have to walk over it in order to keep up with it. Yeah. So. And we do some special things like one of our, um, actually our, our vice president, Jules, wanted to, what was the, the Virginia cap, cap cap? Oh yeah, the cap she did, she did that, and so she was training to do that. So every weekend she would have a ride for a period of time. And, um, like a road, more of a road. Like, I'm yeah, riding at 10.30 to do the cap trail perfectly. So yeah. when you like the, the women's hockey sports page, you, you see those kind of special events, even though we're mountain bike focused. We did some cycle cross rides on gravel at Pocahontas around Monster Cross this past uh, earlier this year. Okay. So, and don't let the women part be discouraging. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. Women call the shots. <laughs> they can be cool with that. Yeah. But we have plenty of guys that can ride with us. And the third Thursday paddlings have become very popular. So we're That'll starting start to start up week. again yeah. as long as the river. Yeah, like yeah. Cool. if we can paddle yeah. with next, yeah. a week from next Thursday is yeah. our first summer paddle this year. Right. Right. So and Carol's. Just does an effort to branch out. Yeah. And a bunch of us paddle. And a lot of us run, but we. Still need to somehow organize, get a more organized running yeah. section. You know, but, but it's funny because some of the people that I do know that are only runners, not even, they all know each other. Yeah. And whether, I don't even know if they came together through WMR, but through their running thing, but then they would talk it up. And so that's kind of like so. the vision is to be a multi sports and to have like sections that are managed by other people than just the main people. Like, have someone who's taking care of the running and yeah. someone who's the mountain biking. Yeah. So you can go between all things. And it's kind of slowly, like, evolving into that. So. I am not going to be able to help you with the run. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it, I mean, it certainly I seems really like mountain biking is the crux. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's not to say that it's exclusively so mountain you, biking. Yeah, once you do the mountain then, biking, you get yeah, fit. You yeah. almost want to branch out into Or if you things. decide it's not for you, then at least you've met the people, oh, he road rides as well, or oh, she runs too. But we have plenty of people that come out and just paddle with us during the summer. We right. don't see them mountain biking, road riding, doing anything else. They just yeah. come and yeah. so yeah. 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 They're not team members, yeah. so them, but they you know, come because they just hang out. Because we're awesome. Who <laughs> wouldn't want to hang out with us? <laughs> yeah. Kids are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So, so thanks for inviting Yeah, us. thanks for coming out uh, and hanging and talking a little bit about what these sports. Um, with the switching up, having it at a different venue, the bike shop was very cool. I'm so mm -hmm. glad they were able to have us here. And, um, you know, like Heather said, I'm the chapter leader here. Um, and uh, one, I see one person. I recognize someone coming in. <laughs> this happened this last time. Like where I was like, so there was a bitch see get started, and like everyone came in after the talk was over. I was like, well, hey, welcome, welcome anyway. But, well, we have a video. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But yeah, we, uh, so the video thing with uh, we started this project with Sierra Nevada. Um, they're one of the sponsors of Matt the Hour. Um, particularly oh, this weird. chapter, um, <laughs> this chapter, DC and New York, and um, so they started this video series where they um, have one of the videos, some of the the content, and they're gonna put like some kind of thing together and use it as promo. And that's why we were with them at River Rock this past. Uh, oh, wow. We went down, had an FBR the down there, and so. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's what that is all about. Um, again, thank you guys for coming out and hanging and having a beer.